So I want to move to that next transition, the transition to AI. Now, Microsoft has been working on fundamental AI breakthroughs for 20 plus years. 20 plus years ago is when Bill started Microsoft Research. And in fact, just in the last couple of years, some of the advances, especially as measured by our ability to have human parity in a lot of these perception and language capabilities, is pretty stunning. And it's happening because of the ability to provision lots of compute capability, to have lots of data, and these new techniques of algorithmic promise around deep neural nets in particular. So for example, we now, in 2016 is one for the first time when we were able to have human parity level object recognition with that ImageNet competition, 152 layer deep neural net that was able to sh show that these neural networks were able to recognize objects like human beings. And in 2017 is when uh, we had human parity on speech recognition using that switchboard data set that's been there for us for all, all time. And just this year, earlier in January, we participated in this squad competition, which is the Stanford Q&A test for machine reading and comprehension. So this is the ability to read a piece of text and start answering questions. I wish I had it for SAT. But that ability to be able to do machine reading and comprehension, we now have human parity. And even in machine translation, as late as March of this year, to be able to do translation with human parity. So these are amazing breakthroughs. But again, going back to our mission, it's not about celebrating these breakthroughs from Microsoft Research. Our collective objective is to take these breakthroughs and democratize them with the tooling we create, with the expertise and the skill set and the services that you provide for us to be able to turn every industry into an AI-first industry, whether it's retail or healthcare or agriculture, we want to be able to make sure that they can take their data in a secure, privacy-preserving way, convert that into AI capability that they get the return on. That's really the objective. In fact, I want to walk through some examples of this. Steward Healthcare is one of the largest private hospital operators in the United States. And Blue Metal, who is an AI uh, partner of the year, really took the AI capability in Azure and applied it to perhaps what, at least in the United States, is a really acute challenge for us, which is healthcare cost. Around 18% of our GDP is in healthcare, and what we now need to do is to turn this around by making sure that health outcomes are getting better, but the costs are coming down. And to be able to apply machine learning and to really see us make a real difference on and bending that curve is what Blue Metal and Stuart Healthcare are really doing. 